वेलकम आदर हम ये टाइम जिम सर वाला गायक नहीं करेंगे <laughs> तो आज कैसे हो आज कैसे स्टार अलाइन हुए कि तू आ गया उधर तो सुबह हुई मॉर्निंग है सैटरडे मॉर्निंग है और मैं उठाया अभी इज्जत से और सैटरडे को कोई भी टाइम पे तुम लोग बोलो मैं उठ जाएगा इज जस्ट आई एम नॉट द डे आई एम इन कॉलेज इज अ प्रॉब्लम तेरे कैसे व्यू दिखा ना एक घर से व्यू कचरे का डब्बा है और बाद में सामने एक बिल्डिंग का कंस्ट्रक्शन गुड्डा आ गया तू बेसिकली बॉम्बे में नहीं कचरे का डब्बा बहुत साफ है लाइक आई पीपल वुड लिव इन द कचरे का डब्बा व्हाट पीपल वुड लिव इन द कचरे का डब्बा या दैट क्लीन नहीं तो तू अभी इधर आ रहा नहीं और हम लोग कब से टेस्ट लाइव शोस की बात करें बिकॉज वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस मंडे तो हम लोग ने सोचा hmm. कि इंडिया में तो कर रहे हैं हम लोग उसकी प्लानिंग hmm. चल रही है लेकिन well, इंडिया के बाहर भी वी स्टार्टेड यस्टरडे हां ओ हां सॉरी स्टार्टेड यस्टरडे बाय द टाइम यू सी दिस इट्स already the show was great we had a amazing time <laughs> and thank you everybody who came to watch the show yesterday which i'm telling you 5 days before 4 days and all days. those who are coming tonight you're going to have a great show okay. yeah It's not going to be <laughs> nice <any fun. laughs> nice it'll be fun to see this on wednesday and uh, see if what we are saying now and what actually happened yeah. when it is going to happen but what we said would happen watching this so on when wednesday it would have happened oh, is what we would have said would have happened hmm. what happened Fuck, can we I move on from tenet, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, so long story short, uh, what we're trying to do is uh, put together a taste live store, live store, live store also <laughs> merch coming soon. Uh, live store <laughs> for the last one year. Merch coming for the last. Hey, who's got merch? Banana chair. T-shirt saying merch. Merch coming, coming soon. soon. Yeah. Merch coming soon. Ah, yeah. Merch coming soon. 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 Yeah. so it's going to become guys stuff i am going to make it on my own and i'll send you a link you uh, we'll click wait. and you buy abhi ruk main banaya gaya nahi hum log leke bhi aayenge anyway yaar main main cheez to baat karne nahi de rahe to test live tour plan kar rahe hain hum log why can't i say live tour i can um to usme stand up hoga sketches honge aur live podcast hoga aur bahut sara bhankas hoga to india mein hum log kar rahe hain in your usual places that we mentioned but we want to Take a sense of uh, how many of you would actually want to see a test live tour outside of India. So North America, Europe, Australia, <coughs> Southeast Asia. So what we're going to do is we are going to float a Google form, Google Doc. Baba, what is it called? It's called Google form. It's called a Google form. Okay, so the Google form will have names of cities, <laughs> right? And depending on which city you're in, or would like to watch the show, and if you can just <coughs> under that write your email address as well, so you guys become our first mailing list. And whenever the tour does happen. uh um, you guys will be the first ones to know about it and also by you guys filling the form we'll get a sense of where what areas and what cities we should be targeting so if you guys want to watch us live in your country uh india also and outside uh please 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 fill in the google form google doc yeah. and uh, we will also, form the doc also guys just don't do something shitty like you know filling it up with 15 email addresses like if you are if you know people who are definitely going to come by all means get them to do it because it completely oh. throws the it throws the tally out of whack so just be like responsible with it and think we'll shut it in about a week 10 days just to see and that will be the no no why will we shut it let it be na are we we'll let it be <clears throat> at some point the point is so guys we'll whenever you can please do fill it in it will sort of make a good case study for us to plan our tour outside of uh, outside <clears throat> of india सो या वो कर दो और चालू करते हैं फॉरकास्ट यू विच रिमाइंड मी कौतुक वेर आर यू ऑन द सेकेंड एंड थर्ड ऑफ इट वाह मैन लेट मी जस्ट आई थिंक आई एम इन बैंगलोर माओ आर यू देर ऑल्सो आई एम ऑल्सो देर अबे तुम लोग क्या अभी सेलिंग कर रहे हो पहले कोल्ड ओपन में बेचना शुरू कर दिया टिकट बाद में बेचो गाइज कम्युनिटी पे पोस्ट आगा इनके शो का टिकट खरीदो आप ओके लेट स्टार्ट बैंगलोर में इंट्रोडक्शन चल इंट्रोडक्शन Hello and welcome to another episode of the Internet Set. So, a show where we take random things, we read absurd facts, tell trivia, and post stories, and we talk about them. And welcome back, Adar. Chalu karte hai aaj ka episode. Tere story se. Bata bandar lo kya kar rahe hai UK lo. Hey bandar ne. Bandar ka alag story hai. Uh, but uh, this one is a special story. Uh, this is about a man called Samuel Barrett Eads that I found. And uh, this guy in 1822 saved a Dutch ship while it was drowning. Like he saved the crew. and uh, he recovered from the boat uh, uh, a very weird object 
he got the mummy of a mermaid so she is a mummaid mummaid and <laughs> abhi a mummaid ko isne he got so fascinated by it that he decided to sell his ship for 6000 dollars at that time 1822 he sold and the dutch ship he saved no no he sold his own bloody own ship. ship he's the captain he sold his own ship because he was so taken by it he bought it for 6000 dollars at that time now iske baad paisa nahi hai wapas america pahunchne ke to cape town mein uska ek ye lagata hai he puts a show for the ship uh, for the mermaid and uh, he makes a shit ton of money it gets a lot of fanfare everybody was crazy over the mermaid and the mermaid is like it it the mummy is a very human like face and the hands it's about 3 foot long ek second other ye to lekin niche ka fish jaisa tha ki nahi jaise it's a proper you can see it's like a proper fin and everything and the body and it has breasts but very much like you would see like in a nature documentary of people living like completely untouched by human civilization type thing so it looks so genuine but fins and instead now, of feet <laughs> yeah 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 proper it looks like a mummy and uske usko bhi mummify kiya hua hai ha it's just mummified mummified it's like a perfectly preserved mermaid and people are taken aback by this and the thing is the position of it is such that the aisa hath upar hai and it's in a kind of a screaming position it's like there's agony on the face which is again very unique we love to look at agony when we are there like we love to see like the pageantry of it So people started paying a lot of money. He made enough money to get himself Adar, to England. This was hmm. a show he was putting up, right? Yeah, I mean, he put it up like this. Like he found the mummy and he wanted to get his money back to actually Fuck. go back to America. So he had to showcase it. You think? And you think he had a? You think he had a Google form? He had a Google. <laughs> <laughs> If you would like to see mermaid in your city, ha? Now in New York, me, who is going to see it? Please tell me. Opening act zombie. <laughs> ha <laughs> fir <laughs> so that this guy reaches london okay and once he reaches london he gets a bunch of naturalists to come in and examine the uh, uh, the the corpse and uh, he goes with the naturalist who agrees with him naturally <laughs> <laughs> the one naturalist who said yes this is legitimate bolta ha tu hi hai banda so the dusra wala naturalist tha uski hat gayi So then he published in a lot of newspapers that this mummy is fake. Mm. So he had put the uh, he had put the mummy up in a coffee shop where people could come and watch it. And coffee shop, I don't know why he put it up in a coffee shop like Starbucks or Barista. That's what I want to see when I'm having my morning <laughs> cuppa. A mummified mm. mermaid in agony. <laughs> <laughs> so now this guy publishes in a lot of newspapers uh, and. उसके वजह से क्या होता है पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी लुकड एट एज गलेबल द पीपल हु आर कमिंग टू वॉच इट इज लाइक हाँ हम नहीं है चूके हम हम नहीं देखेंगे तो पीपल स्टॉप गोइंग एंड दिस गाई गॉट पक्ट सो नाउ दिस गाई कांट मेक बैक द मनी दैट ही हैज टू पे बैक लाइक ही कांट मेक बैक द सिक्स थाउजेंड डॉलर एंड अपेरेंटली देर वॉज अ सेकेंड ओनर ऑफ द शिप इसने ऐसे ही अपनी शिप बेच दी विदाउट कंसल्टिंग सेकेंड ओनर वी नो हाउ दैट फील्स लाइक वी नो हाउ दैट फील्स लाइक गाइज उसने भेज दिया शिप तो नाउ दिस सेकंड ओनर इज कम इन एंड बोलता है कि भाई मेरे को पैसा चाहिए यू ओ मी द थ्री थाउजेंड तो गिव इट बैक टू मी एंड इन दैट टाइम द कोर्ट प्रोसीडिंग वॉट हैपन्स इज द मम्मी द मरमेड बिकम्स अ वार्ड ऑफ द कोर्ट जैसे चाइल्ड कस्टडी में बच्चे को एंड इट बिकेम अ जोक वेद कोर्ट टू कस्टडी वार्ड और ये सब लेके घूम रहे हैं मरमेड So, उसको कोल्ड स्टोरेज में रखा कि <laughs> उसको ऐसे करके उसमें वो जो खाना रखते हैं ना ग्लास डोम लाइक ऑल दर किलो चार ऑन संडे विद मालवानी मच्छी फ्राई अच्छा बड़ा पीस काटना सो नाउ नाउ दिस गाय स्टार्ट वर्किंग लाइक फ्रॉम अ कैप्टन नाउ ही जस्ट स्टार्ट डूइंग ऑल द मीनियल जॉब ऑन शिप्स एंड लाइक सी लाइक वर्किंग ऑन सी वर्ल्ड बाहर आ रहा है ऐसे 
उधर उसके जॉब इंटरव्यू पे सर इसके पहले आप क्या करते थे मैं कैप्टन था शिप का और अभी मैं सी वर्ल्ड में मच्छे खिला रहा हूँ मच्छे को तो अभी इसको इसका पैसा नहीं बन रहा है ही वर्क फॉर द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स ट्राइंग टू पे ऑफ द डेट एंड नेवर सक्सीडेड अभी तो यूएस नहीं पहुंचा ये हाँ कभी पहुंचा ही नहीं यूएस एंड मर गया एंड हिज सन इनहेरिटेड द मरबेड दैट वॉज दी थिंग द सन इनहेरिटेड क्या करू मैं इसका क्या सो अच्छा बिटकॉइन में इन्वेस्ट करते सलाह मेरा बात मेरे को मच्छी देखे क्या डायरी प्रसाद स्पैर फिशरीज हाँ तो अभी नाउ इट्स एटीन एटीन फोर्टी टू ऑल राइट एंड द सन सम हाउ मैनेजेस टू गेट टू अमेरिका Oh my uh, god so now this is finally some profit has come he's bought the mermaid of it hmm. now kimble goes to this guy called pt barnum oh yes okay pt barnum uh, as we know is the great showman uh, and uh, pt barnum uh, and uh, kimble decide to work together <laughs> to showcase the mermaid hmm. now pt barnum doesn't give a rat's ass if the mermaid is real or not he yeah. just cares about making the money banam effect so, wala pt banam hi tha na hmm. yes uh-huh. yes 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 so pt banam knows that his great segwijit ha huh. yeah. his uh, hmm. his name being attached to the uh, mermaid is going to create problems because uh, pt banam had uh, had become infamous recently because uh, he had uh, uh, pulled a prank not a prank but like he had done this thing called uh, uh, wait i need to get the name of the uh, joyce heath hoax he had done the joyce heath hoax because he doesn't care he's seen something that the upper ticket bik sakta hai ab ye joyce heath hoax mein usne kya kiya tha he claimed that a woman was 161 years old when she was in fact in her 70s so this was, so he had become <laughs> infamous didn't moisturize that, yeah. <laughs> no but public ne public bought it na that she was public bought it but it came out and now so that's why bd banam doesn't want his name very attached to it like uh, like initially he needs the legitimacy of the mermaid to come through so he gets this guy called dr griffin okay who is supposed to be a naturalist and uh, you know so dr griffin puts out ads in the newspapers and gives out a talk and convinces people by and how does he convince people that this uh, mermaid is real by putting a platypus next to the mermaid okay, if the platypus is real this weird creature is real then this mermaid could also be real because this is land animals and discuss so if a sea horse is real if a sea lion exists then there must be a sea human that we must all have counterparts in the ocean oh that is their God. entire advertising gamble and it pays off incredibly because they exhibit it at the uh, at the new york uh, at the american museum and uh, and so that is neither the boston museum or pt barnum's museum so mm. they exhibit it at the third place and uske wajah se it becomes so legit people go crazy buying tickets for it and uh, footfall at the american museum like triples overnight and uh, people are loving this now abhi this guy did everything and this guy was so clever he stopped it at the right time he didn't let it get out of hand where it becomes there and then he moved on to other things now what the mermaid actually was because there was no way to really test and then it became one of the greatest hoax mermaids ever is the mermaid was actually the top of an orangutan and the bottom of a salmon and that is the monkey update guys <laughs> oh <laughs> so someone was, had merged this together like second, there was palette. a japanese one sailor second. like there was a japanese sailor who merged them together as a prank and Adan. sold it off to the dutch ship You have pulled off a Trojan monkey. Wow! <coughs> Fuck! Wow! Hilarious. You who? Where monkey fat research? Kara? You where? 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 Where?
But now he has to physically and do something to the monkeys for it. There to be a story. But how how the fuck? बहुत अजीब monkey fact मिला मेरे को. But there's two things about this. The first thing is, how do you fuse an orangutan with a salmon? Because those are two very disproportionate things. And the second is that's where the Japanese. छोटा 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 size orangutan or the biggest salmon you can find. And okay, Japanese. मम्मीफाइड So, but the the bandages were still on or 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 did they? No, such bandage doesn't happen. Mummification can happen in multiple ways. Uh, so you're saying it's or, a taxidermy, no, 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 you know, it's a taxidermy yeah, thing. Kind of, uh, Baba, yeah, just pull like up, that. pull up the photo. But then somewhere you, somewhere you could see the Fiji stitches mermaid. or no? What am I calling? Fiji mermaid. Fiji mermaid. F E E J E E. Okay, then you mermaid. You'd get it. So the Japanese actually worship this. So there are, uh, there is a mummified, uh, mummified remain of a mermaid in Japan that has been preserved for oh, the last forty years. Under which they worship, yeah, and that is a legend one which is still under observation, and they're trying to like figure out yeah because uh, it's been sealed in a box for forty years, and they Japanese believe that it has healing properties. People have This actually prayed mummy. to it too. Oh, that's yeah, fucking creepy and so, not at and all the mermaid I had in mind. But look, this whole yeah. time, my head, my head, made a lucky image. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And that's how they advertised it. Also, like women, like really sexy women with the bodies of fishes. <laughs> that those were the paintings and the newspapers that were put out, and, and people would come in. and see this, and they would still be horrified because they're still getting what they wanted, right? They still wanted Dude, like Japanese something. Japanese look, kya must prank karta hai, bro. Yeah, Hardcore. and you've seen how Japanese का वो जो होता है ना वो जो aluminium foil के साथ वो लोग ball wall बनाते हैं. So their their absolute attention to detail is what sold this. Very nice. Nuts. 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 Good monkey fact, Adar. Before before Kothuk has mentioned, uh, sorry, Adar mentioned Barnum. Hmm. 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 इसलिए अच्छा segue जीत रहे हो. <laughs> Amazing segue जीत रहे. क्योंकि Honestly, what what happened this week was, uh, I what happened this week was I was just reading, watching one of these TED talks, which spoke about like you know the the illusion of experience versus mummy, uh, memories, mummy. <laughs> oh God, experience versus memory. Right, that's just, also very good. Experience versus mummy. Experience is when you experience stuff yourself, and mummy is when you have mummy to do on your own. <laughs> Correct. So, uh, what was what was really exciting? What was interesting in that was the takeout saying that we. we attach so much value and importance to happiness uh, what we don't understand is that there is an experiencing self which is experiencing it at, at the current time and then there is a memory which may or may not it may or may not feel it the same way that and that the experience was so he gave one example which was there was a guy who was listening to a really great piece of music and it's a 20 minute long piece of music and it was really wonderful and at one point he uh, Uh, at the end of the song there was a very bad scratching sound or something like that so it ruined his whole experience because when he when he tried to remember it later uh, he could only remember the scratching sound he didn't remember the the experience of the 20 minute music piece for those 4 seconds of a scratching sound and it sort of like took me into this whole like trap of like cognitive biases and stuff like that and that's where really i went into oh my god there is an entire wikipedia page and i'm just going to read out a few which are like really 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 exciting and the curiosity also came from uh, another effect right and i was talking to kautuk about it and i'll and i'll get to it uh, so the barnum effect really interestingly which everybody pretty much knows is you know you try to tend to believe you take Truths out of a slightly vague statement and try to attach it yourself. Yeah, astrology. astrology and stuff like that. वो ऐसा you have a tendency to be critical of yourself. ये सब के लिए valid है. नहीं और ये ना you are a very uh, you are a very outgoing person, but sometimes you like your own private time. <laughs> I will tell you. At time times, for more on this, watch my stand-up video <laughs> by astrology sir. Ah, my ah. my favorite one is at times you feel very sure of yourself, at while at other times you are not as confident. Now the thing is, when it's put in a collective of maybes, it suddenly makes you realize, yeah, this sounds like me because there are multiple things that are uh, sort of uh, 
working for it uh, right so, so we, it's we tend to believe and we tend to be more complex <clears throat> than we are right yeah yeah right mm. yeah we try to be like nahi main ang am i extrovert to extrovert but no yeah. you're not always extrovert right you are <laughs> no something in the middle like yeah. there are times <laughs> jidhar tu himalay mein jata hai and, and it's the phrasing of of these which really sort of you know uh, kill it which are like some of your aspirations tend to be pretty unrealistic now yeah. in, a, in that sentence this is a truism for anybody right like for everybody <laughs> Because exactly. if you just to read and think you will automatically be like ha main ye socha tha life mein ye thoda over ambitious ha uh, correct so it's it's such a great thing and like the other thing that i was sort of uh, talking to and i was like something happened over the week and um i heard a word or a new phrase or whatever and suddenly around me people kept mentioning that word a lot mm. more and i was like wait did it exist and this is not the first time it's happening like there are times where when you learn something or hear something or discover something then suddenly you realize that the frequency of that concept or that word being used around you is a lot more right uh it's would it's, you say is the same thing where you know say you're going through a breakup or radio pe ya kidhar gana sunne kuch ek sad gana aa gaya automatically you start no that's a different oh, kind of confirmation bias it's something something i forget no, but it's what not you're, the same what you're saying is bader minor right Yeah, what yeah. I am saying is Bader Minor. Ah, uh, mine is it's called it's it's also called the frequency illusion, right? And to like it's such a bizarre thing where you can literally imagine any cognitive dissonance or bias or anything that you've sort of got, and you write it in the vaguest of words on the internet, and there will be somebody who studied it, right? Like because the exact definition of this is, uh, it says. Uh, it's it's a the frequency bias is a cognitive bias in which after noticing something for the first time there is a tendency to notice it more often leading someone to believe that there is a high frequency of that occurrence Baba. i'm like how weirdly specific <coughs> is this so so you know something so there's uh, the book the secret yeah. no, literally I'm, that that was going to be the next thing. <laughs> so it has literally made all its money on the fact of on a cognitive bias right yeah. now the second thing about it is like this happened to me recently this bader minor thing in this way so when we moved into this house we had to buy some furniture and stuff right now when you start getting into the world of buying furniture that's when you realize how fucking expensive wood is yeah yeah, yeah. right until then you do not value wood then suddenly you get into furniture purchasing and like, my gosh wood is gold right so I, i got into that frame of mind in that phase of life and suddenly, suddenly on the road peak and what all you're hearing sandal wood was up but then yeah. we were on the road okay and one as a very innocuous looking tempo passes by just carrying hunks of wood <laughs> ठीक है आई वाज लुकिंग एट इट गोइंग लाइक इसका डाका डालना चाहिए डोंट फक क्या वुड राइट लाइक एंड दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स दैट एंड देन कॉसो गॉट अ हेड मॉर्निंग वुड इज लाइक फक आई सी वुड एवरीवेयर फॉर 4000 रुपीस एन इंच नो एंड एंड द बहुत एक्सपेंसिव बेच रहे हो एंड एचरा की हुए रखना अपने पास वो लुक्स एट मॉर्निंग वुड बी लाइक चल 4000 रुपया पर इंच बेच रहा आज what's what's really funny about what's really funny about this is again i don't believe i can't believe it even in this we are getting uh, segues because the next one i want to talk about is it's called the effort would... justification no the effect <laughs> effort justification when it comes to furniture <laughs> right it's hmm. also called the ikea effect because of yeah. that reason hmm. right so for example it it seem uh, it, the effort justification is a person's tendency to attribute greater value to an outcome if they had put effort into achieving it yes right so it so it, no matter how shit that furniture is and it doesn't have long life like it doesn't have a great shelf life and uh, things like that uh, just the fact that you have put it together you're like pro kya table banaya yaar kya banaya there was there was a thing about uh, there was a thing about cakes uh, when uh, they had launched instant cakes uh, i think this was nestle or someone uh, when they launched instant cakes the all is an instant was, cake <laughs> matlab the instant cake mix you put so it in a okay acha <laughs> cake no like cake to say instant in <laughs> yeah ha huh, like uh, mix it then uh, you get the this and you huh. put it in the oven uh, people were not buying it and at that time and this was the 30s i don't know the, their primary uh, buying capacity in the household was the women's 
and it felt like uh, they realized from case studies was that uh, the the idea of the instant mix was undermining the effort that they were putting in the kitchen at that time and making the actual thing so what they did was add one egg <laughs> hmm. so they changed that thing so and that completely changed the effect and the way people viewed the instant cake mix oh this requires mehnat and wow. then the they went add up. one egg add one egg yeah acha then aur bata bhai is tere baba अरे बहुत सारा है ब्रो मैं तो पागल हो गया है ब्रो ये सब पढ़ पढ़ के बिकॉज आई वाज सो लूजिंग माय आई वाज लाइक टोटली लूजिंग माय माइंड इज इज इट योर एफर्ट जस्टिफिकेशन दैट बिकॉज़ यू हैव रेड सो मच यू थिंक दैट आज तेरा अच्छा गया ये नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं सो बिल्कुल नहीं नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल देयर समथिंग कॉल्ड लाइक देयर समथिंग कॉल्ड अ नॉर्मल सी बायस राइट व्हिच अगेन टू मी इज सुप्रीमली ग्रेट बिकॉज़ इट इज द रिफ्यूजल टू प्लान फॉर और रिएक्ट टू a disaster which has never happened before What? which is why for example in india not a lot of people have fire insurance on a house we don't because the concept of fires happening in like homes is so far and few between we probably don't even know it we we don't even know people who've got it so we just don't so like insurance or which is why the whole like act of god construct has come into insurance right like because mm. uh, uh an earthquake destroying things wasn't isn't Dude, too much of a phenomenon do you here. do you think yeah. there must be some company out there that must have taken out an insurance policy on a pandemic yeah in yeah. 2019 yeah, yeah no it, it came <laughs> out jab bhi pandemic hua tabhi somebody had already like this this But was in the done news. it for they had done it they've for done sars it. and stuff also yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, what are you talking about this all the time because they are trying to protect themselves no kya yeah, play yeah, out dikh raha hai must are bro there is oh, abhi abhi last time baat kar rahe the roman abramovich ke paas sanctions like uh, insurance ah हाँ सो कभी ना कभी पुटिन कुछ करेगा मुझे कुछ होगा चेल्सी की लगेगी तो सो लाइक आई मीन सो टू मी आई मीन जस्ट द फैक्ट दैट लाइक एंड एंड दैट्स आल्सो द रीजन व्हाई यंगर पीपल टेंड टू नॉट बी इंश्योर्ड एट अ लेजिटिमेट अमाउंट बिकॉज चांसेस आर यू आर नॉट थिंकिंग ऑफ हेल्थ एट दैट पॉइंट राइट एंड इफ यू जस्ट सॉर्ट ऑफ एंड इट्स and the older you grow you start worrying about <laughs> medical insurance but you also start worrying about retirement right so there's such a beautiful okay, yeah, normal si bias ho gaya tu bol raha tha uske baad this is this is normal si bias and there's so much of it and and the reason why i'm talking about like uh retirement and stuff like that is because there's something called hyperbolic discounting all right so where discounting is a tendency for people to have a stronger preference for more immediate payoffs relative to later payoffs so this is excellent when it comes to studying just marketing as to why people are insuring later in life or why this thing and all that but the best example of this is diet or exercise so here what they're saying is if you for example gave someone saying that you know a good example of the when making food choices for the coming week 74% of them chose fruit whereas for the current day was chocolate so it was almost like ha main tuesday wednesday thursday ko must say beans beetroot khayega lekin aaj main chocolate kha lega bro aaj saturday aaj kuch acha tha me so Haan. it's such a great like I, it's just mind blowing to me how all of these constructs sort of work with each other so clearly you have some joke that is no, on no, hyperbolic no. discounting no i was i was just saying that it's that classic thing now that you are writing checks that your future self cannot cash <laughs> not cash <laughs> speaking <laughs> of checks bro it's connected hai bro tu nahi maarega this is called frequency bias baba tu nahi tai tu nahi everything is connected it's called the denomination effect this everybody sort of knows her, uh, about which is that you tend to spend money when the denominations are lower which yeah. is why you have like which is why our tickets are 499 Yeah, or you, you tend to spend money, uh, money when the money is not real money also so you don't feel only yeah, yeah. Like no, in, i'm very yeah, careful even with folk, yeah. fake poker for poker chips i'm careful in app purchases bro ki yeah, tu yeah. 20 coin kharid to tu 20 coin kharid de ko paisa to dikh raha nahi real jo 2500 rupya tune kharch no that is that is the decoy effect so what <laughs> is it so that is a different thing where decoy bias no no so it's not a decoy bias it's called decoy something something where what 
it's not even the deco effect it's called i think it's called subversion or something jo like that jo chacha hai wohi bhatija hai jo bhatija hai wo chacha hai wohi se kya chacha hai koi nahi where you overvalue what you are getting to uh, attach a price to it but what you are getting is actually not worth anything this is everybody who has so house membership in in bombay <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's useless it's so useless it's just you're st- you're sitting there i went there with a friend of mine and my beta wahan pe is like you're paying 2 lakhs to sit and watch chunky pande eat dinner that is your that is your entire spending so, and so no no guys i'm just kidding so i was i'm open to get membership <laughs> Yeah, I mean, eventually uh, we'll do shows uh, there, and then yeah. Soho will be amazing. So, so like, House, I, uh, London, uh, so Soho, London, or, 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 or. <laughs> so within within something called extension neglect, all of these problems fall right. This is called scope neglect, right? Now, when you look at scope neglect, scope what you neglect about, bias. Yeah, so it's called scope insensitivity, which is the tendency to be insensitive to the size of the problem when evaluating it. It may not be exactly what you are saying, but for example, you are paying the your, for example, you are willing to pay as much to save two thousand children or twenty thousand children. तेरे को फर्क नहीं पड़ता है तेरा amount कितना है वो important है. So the similar yeah. uh thing where they are subverting your expectation saying that tere ko 20000 gold coin mil raha hai lekin tu actually 5 dollar bhar raha hai uske liye now tera 20000 gold coin kuch nahi kar raha tere liye in 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 the context of what 5 dollars could actually get you uh so it's it's, it's the, really baba that is the uh, sort of like a, a side track to this is the famous stalin quote ki uh, a million is a statistic one is a Uh, yeah a story tragedy yeah, yeah a tragedy and there are and dude on this page if i go into like statistics and all statistics statistical anomaly biases you Bias. go crazy uh there's just there's just aag ban kar aise aag ban kar aise aise ja aur ek bias pe ruk ja nahi nahi so there now i'm coming to decoy or monty the monty hall problem just remember which ones you've done because definitely part two karna chahiye sir are bro there's mai likha hai to uh so in it the the monty hall problem for example is also technically a bias right behind door the, number 3 is yeah. Hmm, yeah. so if i give you a and b you will choose a or b and then if i give you c chances of you switching from you know what you've uh, taken are so But much it's, higher. It's, it's within it's within your interest to switch it's to called switch. the khulja simsim bias yes it is it is mathematically it is within your it's within your uh, interest to uh, switch to yeah switch. Yeah, and then there's of course yes, sab ke saath hoi, theek hai. The distinction bias, theek hai. Distinction bias is, is beautiful. It? Where, for example, I tell you, to hmm. apple khaega kya? To tu bolay ha, main apple khaega. Or tu wo apple khaega, amazing apple hai. Or tu bolay ha, oh fuck, kya amazing apple? Lekin main tere ko bolay ha, to apple khaega kya? Or main tere ko do amazing apple diya na? To tu jo apple khaega bolay ha, shayad wo dusra apple better tha. It's just the, it's watching just, watching TV, right? When you're so grass is greener on other side. Bias, bias. <laughs> no, no, no. This is yeah. this is that one, dude. No matter which lane you pick in traffic, in traffic the other one moves faster. Faster. Mm, yeah. There's also something I knew it all. I I knew it all along. Effect. There is something called the I knew it all along effect. By the way, uh, it's just it, it's too crazy, dude. This. But you want to give example? Yeah, you want to fucking along. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's Are called hindsight bias. Hindsight bias. Kuch bol rahe hindsight ah, bias. It's, it's called the hindsight bias where you have you have predicted the. predicted the possibility of what will happen even before it's happened so basically so, our yeah. cold open today that the show yeah. that ha- is going to happen <laughs> has ha- ha- happened called, yesterday and it's is going called, to happen tonight it's going to be great over confidence <laughs> neglect <laughs> i'm assuming that what did he become wo kyun over confidence hai kya fir bhai log itna sure hai hum log itna sure hai yeah aisa unhone predict kiya hai ha but it's so, coming from there apne ye cold open mein 6 alag bias the tere ko malum hai I'll come to the last one. It's called the uh, what is it called? It's called the rhyme as reason effect. What? It is the it is yeah. my entire career in one line. Okay, where when things rhyme, you tend to believe that they are true. What? Yeah. Yeah. So what? It, for example, ab ki bar, ab ki bar. Oh. What? 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 Ab what? ki bar. What say? That's yeah. Nayakar. It's yeah. not that. Nayakar. It's aega to 
लेकिन ये नहीं हो रहा है नो 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 बट इट्स नॉट बट इट्स नॉट दैट इज ओवर कॉन्फिडेंस वाइज नो नो सो आई एम सेइंग लाइक इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट इट लाइक इवन व्हाई एड जिंगल्स एंड स्टफ आर ऑलवेज रिटन लाइक जैसी जरूरत वैसा इवन इफ दे हैव द केडेंस ऑफ a rhyme or they it's, have it's the like, yeah it's syllabic quality you want yeah in you the need the verse and the prose to hit and that is all i've been studying now it's, it's just so tomorrow out, and out. tomorrow and tomorrow <laughs> the idea of just like getting it uh, uh, the free verse is just so powerful when you are actually trying to convey a message where the uh, where if it's pleasing the the rhythm you know, is pleasing the to your ear yeah, yeah you're you, more you likely to, to be paying attention so it's it's yeah. just which is why we always have writing. these do you will have these ad slogans a lot of ad slogans etc which yeah. is why they are rhyming which is why they are jingle or they have a cadence to it which has pehle istemal kare fir vishwas fir vishwas kare a isko laga dala to life jingle la 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 lekin kidhar hai aajkal ha to no i'm saying hai ha dimag mein to hai dimag mein dimag mein so no you tend to end up you tend to believe the truth of it which is also mm-hmm. why a lot of newspaper headlines started to move from factual headlines to headlines that were written right like that were that had a value a cadence that had uh, you know when you heard it the syllables sort of fit in a mm-hmm. in, even if they didn't rhyme they had a poetic nuance to it as opposed to a prose nuance uh and 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 it's called the rhyme as reason effect dude main pagal ho gaya ye sab padh ke ek pura wikipedia page hai called list of cognitive biases har ek link jaake padhega na to uff kya main it's majedar. beautiful it's majedar really bahut sahi bahut sahi bahut sahi to uh pata hai meri story ka birth kahan se hua kyunki uh, nikita hai podcast addict ठीक है तो वो भी सुनते रहती है नॉनस्टॉप जैसे अपने पब्लिक बोलते हैं ना मैं भांडे गाजते वक्त सुन रहा हूँ तुम लोग को एक मिनट निकिता हम लोग का पॉडकास्ट सुनते हैं नहीं हाँ दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज आल्सो थिंकिंग क्वालिटी क्वालिटी इसको प्रॉपर अच्छा प्रोड्यूस पॉडकास्ट चाहिए ऐसा नहीं कि चार लौंडे बैठ के बात कर रहे ऑल्सो सुनाई देता है वैसे भी अंदर ऑल द टाइम व्हाट द फक इज ही गो टू या वो साइड में ऑलरेडी वो भांडी घासते घासते देखो सुन रही है जब तू रिकॉर्ड कर रहा है क्या हां वो पूरा टाइम सुन रही है वो भांडी नहीं घासती हां भांडी मैं घासता ले वो खाना बनाती है बट एट सम पॉइंट सब लोग भांडी घास रहे हैं आजकल हां वो भी है तो एनीवे तो शी कीप्स लिसनिंग टू अ होल बंच ऑफ पॉडकास्ट राइट तो उस दिन मैं एक इव्स ड्रॉप और वो मेरे को आके सब सबका स्टोरी सुनाती है सो शी टोल्ड मी अबाउट दिस वन केस इन द यूएस ओके इट्स अ किडनैपिंग केस that happened in 2016 november 2016 there is this woman whose name is sherry papini and her husband's name is akit papini papini papinai whatever papini for now ha papinai hai yaar papini hai sounds like the plural of papini mere ko papini hai papini chi and check papini chi so anyway akit and sherry papini this couple they have two kids and uh, husband's at work one day he works at best buy and she is supposed to be at home usually she finishes a jog at a certain point after which she goes and picks up her kids from daycare now the husband gets a call at work ki she is not come to pick up the kids right husband calls her phone baj raha hai not answering he gets a little tense he goes picks up the kids comes back home again she is nowhere at home looks around she is not there tries calling not happening then he ends up using the cab of the find my iphone mm. thing and then finds the location is about like a kilometer away from his house on her jogging route so he's there he's looking around he finds the phone and he finds one of her airpods and he figures it's hers because there's like a blonde hair that's literally like wrapped around and she's yeah. blonde okay a uh, white blonde woman so she's got the bl- blonde hair is stuck on the thing he picks it and he sort of realizes that this is hers and this is her jogging route now the problem is that for many months preceding this there have been women in california this happened in california uh where they were on jogs and either they've been kidnapped or murdered and stuff like that has happened okay in the lead up to this so he obviously gets scared calls in the cops etc uh now when it comes to like wife getting kidnapped obviously husband is one of the first suspects right so police sort of interrogate him figure out if there's anything wrong with the family if they've had marital problems etc and nothing of that sort right he says we are a very happy family things are great and i don't know who would do this or why so police obviously put in their resources for a manhunt you know they they're looking for everywhere apps are out etc and uh, uh, while this investigation is happening now it's been about 22 days since she's been kidnapped 
right so husband makes a very impassioned plea he's crying he's put a reward out like you know please help me find her and 50000 dollar reward and uh, he also agrees for a what do you call it uh, wo lie detector test hota na for that so he clears that right but still police feel like he like consider him as a suspect now they're looking everywhere by is they know guys suddenly the police gets a call there is a woman who's been found on one of the interstate highways her hair has been cut she is still uh binded and she has been uh what do you call it uh could be branded oh. so she is she is in cuffs oh, etc not oh. handcuffs but she is tied up etc hair has been cut she has a broken nose visible uh, physical bruises and she has been branded like how you brand cattle or you know you have that wood branding ka yeah, aata yeah, yeah. so she has been branded now obviously they find out and they figure out that this is the same woman sherry papini right they bring her home and when they sort of ask her what happened and how what what went down so she said that she was kidnapped by two hispanic women who had a shotgun and they would go through great lengths to sort of either hide their face with masks etc or to cover her face with like a like a blindfold or like you know just so that she can't identify these these women now in the entire time that she's been out the husband they've started a go fund me page also to help find now you know how it happens america may white mom abducted like people fully like give a lot of money white right? woman effect white woman effect so that they have ac- accumulated about 49000 in the go fund me page now after she's come back she and her husband both cooperate with the police a lot you know she tries to tell uh, the cause whatever she can remember you know vaguely describes how they are how their breath smell etc so now police are on the hunt for for these for these two women they don't know they just know that there was a black car in which she she has been taken so they were sort of this out for the car also to find out what's happened etc now after she's come back home few more like months etc pass where investigation is on and at the same time she files uh, for uh, victim compensation right because there is a thing that you can actually get like you'll get money and then you know you can use it towards your therapy medical bills whatever aur usme bhi kuch 60000 dollars ya kuch to aata hai i don't know the exact number i'm a little confused about that but lag raha hai so now people then you know any time this happens online forum facebook ye wo pe sab public chalu ho gaye baat karna ye wo the case catches a lot of media attention now this whole thing is happening then somebody unearths a tweet or not a tweet but like a post or a uh, thing she had done where she is fully lashing out against uh uh hispanics pehle right as is up chal raha hai so they like oh do you think she, this woman is lying you know was she actually kidnapped or what turns out some time back right now after years of investigation six years later they arrested this woman sherry papini under the thing of lying to law enforcement and staging her kidnapping oh my god okay wow. so rewind back what happens is that once all the evidence etc has collected um they find her items of clothing on which they find uh dna male and female dna right on like a underwear her track pants etc etc now the dna is neither hers nor her husband's so they are now fully trying to track kaise kya ho raha and it's not easy to just like they're not able to find anything in the database that they have right so ye sab chal raha hai chal raha hai turns out that the cops then decide to use you know your ancestry.com type yeah, yeah. Yeah. uh, uh portal is where, becoming a really big thing for now people to be able yeah, to connect the because yeah. then you can say like in that ancestry thing तेरा कोई अंकल का कोई भाई का बाप का ये वो सबका एक पूरा फैमिली ट्री जो तेरा आता है सो वेन दे रन द डी एन ए सैंपल थ्रू दैट इट हिट्स ऑन हर चाइल्डहुड बॉयफ्रेंड सम कजिन समथिंग राइट सो सपोज कजिन पे लगा वो इसका डी एन ए फैमिली हिस्ट्री देखा तो ये बॉयफ्रेंड पे आया है और ये उसका स्कूल टाइम का बॉयफ्रेंड so they start investigating the that boyfriend ki iska kya hai wo and he comes forward and then he tells them yes i helped her escape so they like what do you mean 
so then he goes and he narrates everything that had happened so before this whole kidnapping fiasco and all of that happened this boyfriend in his old house came across a box of her stuff from when they were like 14 15 years old or some shit right now he doesn't know where this woman stays anymore but he remembered her parents address to isne wo sab box of stuff udhar bhej diya ki you know i came across this i thought maybe she'd like it uski mom ne isko bhej diya shehri ko ki hey this stuff came and i forget the boyfriend's name whatever mark theek hai to mark ne ye tumhare liye bheja hai type so she looks at it then she gets all like emotional she reconnects with him then they start chatting then they start chatting ye sab ho gaya then one day she tells him that my husband is abusive so i need to run away ye to gone he beats me up bro. yes he beats me up etc i need to run away so he is like okay cool i'll i'll help you so she fakes her kidnapping they go together he comes picks her up she sits in the back seat hidden down drives out to some other corner in some other southern california somewhere they are with this she is with this guy in the house and the entire 22 days that they were there it's not like they were sitting having sex they were sleeping in separate rooms and one day he came home to see she has chopped her hair off ye sab ho raha hai and then after 22 days it's thanksgiving time she tells him that listen i'm missing my kids a lot so you drop me off on the highway somewhere but before that he she takes his help to inflict the wounds he's like i never hit her directly but i went and got the branding tool for her wow yeah oh, shit so then she has done all of this to herself uh, tied herself up i mean got him to tie her up left her in the middle of the interstate highway where two bikers sort of saw her and then called the cops etc and in the investigation they said she is literally taking it from gone girl oh there this is literally gone girl then in the lead up to more investigation happening her other boyfriends from you know these guys everybody just sort of comes crawling out of the woodwork right once it becomes so sensational the case apparently she had a history of being a compulsive liar uh and the 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 police over the course of the 6 years has roughly spent about 200000 dollars worth of resources on coming this case yeah so itna paisa udhar cops ke dar gaya she has they've made 49000 from the gofundme page victim compensation all of that shit so she was arrested she was in custody but abhi i think 2 days back um she's been uh, uh, taken out of jail her passport has to be surrendered because she is a serious flight risk and she has been now advised for psychiatric care you would imagine watching gone girl and being like that's so relatable <laughs> yeah <laughs> no so ye kar sakte hai gone girl oh is God. more a manual yeah, yeah. <laughs> i can totally see myself <laughs> it's crazy because when i was hearing nikita tell me this meko to pura gone girl meko rosamond pike dikhai de rahi hai meko ben affleck dikhai de raha hai neil patrick harris dikhai de raha hai so she apparently hey, copied the whole thing that i couldn't they kept her face covered and they were hispanic i was like this is uh, yeah. this is uh, my i knew it bias <laughs> <laughs> i knew it all along bias <laughs> yeah it's insane though like kidnap- in fact kidnapping pe movie tune wo wala dekha hai movie uh, which is on the lindbergh case Charles Augustus Lindbergh, उसका जो so in the thirties, this twenty, हाँ, the Lindbergh baby, yeah. So for those of you who don't know, people watching this this case happened in the nineteen thirties when Charles Augustus Lindbergh Jr. was kidnapped, right? He's the son of famous aviator and बहुत अमीर इंसान Charles Lindbergh, and a series of ransom notes would come in. First there were newspaper clippings. you know like you take t from bombay times and b from bombay times and m from it's mumbai like, it's like if today elon musk kids yeah. something happened like <laughs> it would be that big yeah yeah insane and every every Uska ransom note that came actually in actually newspaper mein se nikalna padega alag alag cheeze no but you yeah. know the sad part is every like every ransom that came in during the lindbergh case right there were about 13 ransom notes the fee kept increasing there was this mysterious doctor who gosed himself into this whole proceeding saying that you know i'll be the mediator etc finally i think the last amount it went up to wasn't it like 200000 100000 dollars or something that time 
or a little bit more and uh, uh, they uh, they they were going to get the money but cop car passed by so these guys freaked out and they ran away from the scene leaving the money and their trail their uh, full yeah. dna and stuff like that there they found the boy after the 13th ransom note or something they found the boy but he was found dead dead yeah yeah, yeah. huge case like you type kidnapping and literally the first thing that pops up is the lindbergh case i think this guy christopher plummer played na in that movie first it was kevin spacey who was supposed to all the money in the world all the money in the world yeah 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 and then christopher oh. plummer played played uh, spacey's character are you, but is are you sure all the money is that one No, no. This is no? Uh, in the film. It is uh, from what I remember. It is uh, crime of the century. I think. Really, I thought it was about the Lindbergh. No, that's case. a different. That's a different one. It's the that uh, all the money in the world is about the kidnapping of John Paul Getty III. That's what. Oh it. yeah, sorry, sorry, John Paul Getty. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Correct, correct. Big blunder. But yeah. Oh, Tuk. Oh my. क्या लाये हो तुम? Oh, so since. we are talking about how everything is linked uh other had once made a comment on the podcast saying ki we would have known about password change <laughs> <laughs> so therefore um no I, the, basically i was changing passwords and i thought it would like i started looking into like how to make strong password etc etc like tips tricks etc um at my age <laughs> i said now is the time to do it and it's interesting because there's a there's a bunch of stuff about it and i think some of it is fun and some of it like is stuff that is very interesting and then there is there are a bunch of stories about people who have lost their passwords and which is why they are very very fucked so let's start by uh let's start with some facts okay this is from um cybernews.com Digit, right? So, and the article is most common passwords. Latest twenty twenty two statistics. Okay, so do you guys want to guess the top one password? One two three. Password. No, close, close, but it's not password. It'll I'll tell you where password is. Birth. Password is number four on the list. So it'll be date of birth. Also. Date, date of birth, name date followed birth. by one two three, Child one two name, three four five six. Name. It is dog one two name. three four five six. Five six, yeah. One two three four five six is the number one most common password, and I just want to tell you guys this: it has been the number one com- most common password for about the last decade. Okay, the, uh, it's the PewDiePie of passwords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. No, and it's all, also I think ninety percent of the people who have this password are over the age of seventy. <laughs> are over the age of one two three four five six. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so number one is one two three four five six. Number two is. One two three four five six seven eight nine. Yeah. <laughs> There's also one two three four five six four five four three two one, na. Right? So that oh. is uh, not on the list. Um, that's a unique-ish one. So these are the top two. Then the third one is QWERTY, which is Q W E R T Y. Uh, fourth place pe hai password. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, um. Uh, here is a bunch of stuff about passwords which is this okay let's uh, start with this which is that passwords are easily hacked because most people tend to follow the same patterns which is this 1 2 3 4 5 6 conundrum approximately 10% of the population of people who have passwords 10% of them have kept 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> now a lot of this data on passwords is collected when leaks happen so hmm. when large databases get leaked right that's when data scientists are able to feed all of this data and they're able to look for patterns so um so yeah so a lot of people in fact since the 90s it's been a similar pattern now here's the other interesting stat 59% of people use the same password everywhere across yeah okay. that's a and big yeah big fucking problem Now, so fifty nine percent use the same password everywhere, and sixty two percent of people use the same password for work and for their personal email, yeah. email, all of that stuff, right? Yeah. So uh, obviously, you do it because it's fucking hard to remember one password. How the fuck will you remember multiple? Plus, then there are some accounts where you are not going to visit that page very often, so you are like, I'm just going to link it 
those are the worst bro yeah, because yeah, in your yeah, email yeah. security checkup na the ones that pop up as compromised are always one chutia website from 6 years ago that you made it and for some reason you decided to have the same password blogspot.com in, <laughs> in current times aur main dekh raha hu shit yaar mera password abhi bhi isko nikalo that security no. thing is very very good though but good. recently i have discovered uh, google is very hard to like give access to like i was yeah, trying yeah. to give my manager access to my uh, my youtube page <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what i love and about that it is so difficult because wo bol raha hai ki yahan pe tere ko ek number aayega tere yes, device number pe, so that yes. you can give access to my device which is there and then you have to say ah, mera internet nahi chal raha hai mera phone number is india ka phone number it's just torture to give access to somebody on your google yeah. no, but uh, it's account. also good It's great. It's very great. good. It's very great. good. Please take ten minutes to sign yeah. sign in somebody else. I'm okay with. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It it always feels like a magic trick to me. You know, it's mm. like uh, you know, someone says, "You will see three on your phone now." <gasps> Sachi. <laughs> But you don't only get three; you get three, and you get two other numbers. You get three, fifty-six, seventy-nine. No, no, no. Yeah. They get the other one, uh, and then yeah. no, the receiver, the, the one yeah. who has to verify it, will get three different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then you know so, which one it is. How many? How many of y'all put your girlfriend's names? Wait, wait. I'll, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. One second. So, fifty-nine um, percent do this. Now, here's the other thing, which is ninety percent of passwords can be cracked in less. Then six hours, okay. Easily, yeah, yeah. Ninety yeah. percent. Because I'm saying, if like hackers want to, they can, right? They like can. It's just about it. Yeah, and yeah. what I want to take you through is four different types of hacking that they do. Okay, so one is called dictionary attack. Okay, a dictionary attack is basically a method that systematically enters words that can be found in a dictionary. Hence the name. Okay, so it it's a, a program that just keeps running it, and if you have a password that has like a, 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 a easy to guess word. eventually the thing will find it okay then is brute force brute force is when uh, hackers have a software that tries to guess every possible you hit the laptop real hard <laughs> you hit the email what icon pata chale password kya so 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> <laughs> so this brute force thing it does exactly this like it looks for statistically the highest most used passwords and then it uses those first and then it goes down lower and lower The next is credential surfing. Credential surfing is basically um, where you're reusing usernames and passwords. So if they hack one account, then they'll try to oh use the same God. credentials for yeah. the next. Um, and then is social engineering, which is basically phishing. Mm. Okay. So these are four ways that they uh, do some of these things. Now, uh, most popular. Let's look at some of the most frequent things in passwords. Okay. Now here's where we come to girlfriend, dog, boyfriend, you know, parents, yes, sir. So your own name, own name. इसलिए मैं खुद का नाम तो नहीं बोल रहा हूँ कभी. मैंने मैंने देखा था this was a um this was a vox pop that I think Jimmy Kimmel or like some other late night show was doing where they ask people on the street like what is your what is your uh, bank uh, bank account password like uh, is it like रहता and then they say uh, oh it's my dog's name. Ah okay, and then they ask them, "Oh, where are you from?" And what dog do you have? What dog do you have? Oh, it's so cute. What's his name? And she just says the name. Hilarious shit. <laughs> so now here's a here's another interesting thing, which is that um, people use years, okay, for the um, for the number component of part of it. Yeah. yeah. Now. most commonly people use birth year which self explanatory they use yeah. a special year to them whatever that is like first time i got a job first time i got a blow job whatever the fuck it is the next which is one, tougher to crack <laughs> yeah much tougher so very to tough first job is still crack. okay first blow job is very tough to crack because you are also constantly changing that year you are also constantly changing that year right you are like are nahi 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 ha ha what what classifies as a blow first you write a number then and then wo to hand job tha ye bahut jaldi ha so like pehle i was kidding myself abhi asal asal mila hai so now here's the thing okay um another thing that people use is the year that the password was created in okay so the uh, most popular year for some reason which has which is very hard to explain or 2003 no okay any other guess how big is your window 
1987 to now 1990 interesting but no no one sec one sec अच्छा गूगल करके बाबा मैं भी बता सकता ना मेरे नहीं 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 मैं आई एम लुकिंग फॉर व्हाट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन नो 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 आई एम गूगलिंग आई एम गूगलिंग डेट ऑफ लॉन्च ऑफ आई एम डेट आई एम गूगलिंग डेट ऑफ लॉन्च ऑफ हॉटमेल सो आई एम थिंक हॉटमेल नॉट एज मच एज जीमेल आई थिंक नो जीमेल 2004 2003 तो नहीं होगा इट्स फेली लेट बाय देन पीपल आर ऑलरेडी यूजिंग सम सॉर्ट ऑफ पासवर्ड सो आई वाज थिंकिंग इट्स इदर याहू और हॉटमेल सो चल ना गेस मार ना ओके एक ईयर बोल ना बाबा पॉइंट नहीं मिल रहे 1994. बात करे तो इंडिया की बात करे अपन वी एस एलेशन ज्यादा है It's so random. Why the China fuck 2010 be the most? So, exactly. It's a it's a odd thing. And I think it's the survey that they took. Nah, yeah, survey. Good. Yeah, survey 2010. Good. Yeah, survey 2010. 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 Yeah, Fuck you, two thousand ten. I'll tell you what. Fuck comes third. Fuck comes third. Oh. Yes, dude. Bo, abhi. Uh, hmm. Like the, I saw something very okay, funny again. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the uh, fuck has come third, and it's got like some four million. Uh, no, it's got four. Yeah, four million eight hundred and something uh, thousand votes. Sex is second at five million, but the number one. Is at Yolo. 26 million. Yo lo, kya? Buzzword hai kya? Ass, <laughs> ass. <laughs> People of have used. Let's bolne wala tha. Main asshole bolne wala tha. Ass, asshole. Which But, porn website got hacked that data scientists got these passwords? <laughs> like ass sex or oh. fuck? Have you, you ever used this the... in your password? I've never used this in my password. Dude, here's the thing. Okay, so I, I'll just tell you how common it is, based on their analysis of a. Uh, a uh, hundred and fifty-two million passwords that contained curse words. Uh, 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 this is the data that's come out, and out of the two point two billion unique passwords, about seven percent of them contain a curse word. So, <laughs> out of that much, seven percent have got one sort of as sex, fuck, sexy, but. <laughs> something like that. But tell me, when 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 you create pass passwords, right? Do you sort of try and put yourself in the mind of a hacker who's trying to hack into your account like how do you like while creating a password has that ever happened to you like for me the longest time i should try to think that agar main hacker hota main khud ko hack kar raha hu to main kya obvious cheeze dalta to that won't be my password yeah but a hacker is not hacking you right like a computer program is hacking so it's not like uh, one person it's an algorithm a... that is trying to break it i mean yeah i'm dude because we we I, this I hacking bullshit is i'm talking really... about not just right now like the passwords that you would keep earlier at the yeah, yeah. just the, one the start you jackman will hack from swordfish yeah. yeah monitor ke sath no which bobby deol from ajnabi will hack because everything oh, yeah. is planned hmm. but i i so, found so, a guy so from I was canada thinking... his name was richard author dick asman that is his full hilarious <laughs> he got very so, popular he was born On, uh, so maybe it's two thousand. So maybe it's two thousand ten. I was just googling this, which is when were the first list of data breaches, and while data breaches have oh. happened since like two thousand four, the one of the first WikiLeaks was two thousand ten. So WikiLeaks में तो Pentagon के बारे में Pentagon में कौन लिख रहा है sex ass? No 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 no. I'm talking about why is the year twenty ten. पासवर्ड्स ऑफ ऑल मोस्ट कॉमन पासवर्ड ऑफ ऑल टाइम 
नंबर वन इज ऑब्वियसली वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड नंबर फिफ्टी वन इज फक मी <laughs> it's almost like अरे वाह इस पासवर्ड चेंज कर रहे हैं fuck me यार yeah. yeah. like which is the reaction <laughs> because half the time you are just going through the torture of like पहले पासवर्ड डाला फिर बोलते हैं no this should include a, a, a alpha numeric special symbol special symbol अच्छा ठीक है special symbol डाला oh by the way it needs a capital letter as well then you <laughs> it cannot be a password you used previously yeah हाँ अच्छा ये हो गया अभी बता ये captcha enter कर हाँ नहीं लेकिन ये कैप्चा में फोटो भी होगा लेटर्स भी होगा नंबर ट्रैफिक ट्रैफिक सिग्नल है यहाँ पे सिग्नल ऐसे एक मिलीमीटर दिख रहा है सो वो क्लिक करो सो लेट मी लेट मी गिव यू सम टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स नाउ एंड देन वील मूव ऑन टू सम ऑफ द स्टोरीज सो टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स आर experts say that the मिनिमम पासवर्ड लेंथ विच इज रिकमेंडेड टू अवॉइड बींग कॉम्प्रोमाइज बाय ब्रूट फॉर क्रैकिंग इज थर्टीन ओके this includes upper case lower case use exclamation points all of that okay um 14 baje kya now uh, 40% of organizations um, this is according to keepersecurity.com 40% of organizations store privileged and administrative passwords in a word document <laughs> and a, a significant percentage just keep it on post it notes <laughs> so Uh, again, two thirds of people have no more than two passwords. The top ten most used passwords list, which is something we went through, has not has barely changed in the last five years, and it's not going to change. I feel. Um, now, uh, here are some of just some general tips, which is include punctuation marks and or numbers, mix capital and lower case, make an acronym of a phrase. So instead of using like a yeah, this was apparently thing, Edward. Edward Snowden had said this on John Oliver. Is like use a phrase. Yeah, and like, you should know. Um, yeah, <laughs> something that is easy, like uh, four rupee, uh, for for four thousand rupees per inch is is a phrase. Yeah, and then or I'm too old for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A computer no, but, can't get it. A computer will have trouble getting it. But can you imagine Snowden's life? His phone, her patch minute pe ek usko notification aata rahega ki. So and so has tried to hack into <laughs> CIA. Is looking into <laughs> is this you? Wow! But it's not in your bullet. I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Then he says use substitutions like the number zero for the letter uh, O or three. Like lead lead spellings. Ha! Uh-huh. Like dead mouth five. Dead mouth five. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. No, but everybody thought it was dead S- mouth five. S- we use five five instead of S. Yeah. Or what does the public do? Oh, oh. Here's a here's a fun distinction between the genders. So women tend to use more personal names for passwords frequently, and men tend to use hobbies. So. Oh shit! <laughs> Baseball one two three. <laughs> yeah, like that. Stamp collection. The <laughs> Sachin and Tendulkar. Sachin huh? Tendulkar ten. Sachin Tendulkar ka password hoga agar cricket at one two three four. Amli hacker lega easily. Ayla, Ayla one two three. Sachin ka password hoga two hundred not out. So, yeah, here, but he should use a sentence like wear helmet and back yeah. also. <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. Now we'll come to um, the stories. Okay, of the public who have just. <laughs> It's so sad, guys. Oh, he's the mic. He got the mic. Abhi this time. Now it's serious. Yeah, It's yeah. Kothu's uh, version of. Chal, yeah. Abhi. <laughs> abhi de tum me ek mast wala. <laughs> Okay, so this is the story of a guy called Stefan Thomas. <laughs> Stefan Thomas, he um, like a while back, he had gotten about seven thousand or seven thousand and two bitcoins. Okay, God, so this this was given to him as a payment for making a video explaining how cryptocurrency works. This moron. And he got it a decade ago. Oh, Now they were worth at the time a few dollars each. Okay. Oh, he stored them in an iron key digital wallet. Okay, and he wrote the password on a piece of paper, which he lost. He forgot about it, and then years later, he gets an update saying that Bitcoin. Is now going through the roof. His wallet 
at the time when this report came out his wallet was worth 240 million dollars bro there are so many of these that have come out where people have <laughs> forgotten <laughs> passwords and what's it ma his iron key wallet okay it has it it's structured like this you have 10 tries oh god at the end of 10 tries it erases the data erases the data yes to so, gaya uska bitcoin gaya 10 tries now he has done 8 tries <laughs> fuck do baki hai so um chupchap kutte ka naam rakhta to itna easy hota na uske life mein so yeah one two three four five tommy two hundred and forty million अभी मैं अभी मैं अपने खुद के password खरीद लेगा मैं edward snowden को खरीद के password बनाएगा अपने लिए रोज उसको बोलेगा edward बनाएगा अभी आज मेरे instagram के you know I, by the way I love this um I love the fucking um, uh, article because they've got this <laughs> little segment there where they have asked him uh, so what do you feel about cryptocurrency now and he says I am put off by it <laughs> <laughs> But hey, abhi tak the wallet still exists because he's too scared. He's got to he's got two more. tries, and here's what's happened. Okay, he's got two tries, and a person reached out to him, and the person was an ex Facebook security head. Okay, his name is Alex Tamos, and he has reached out saying, "Ki you give me ten percent of the cut, I will break this for you." Fair enough. Which is a good twenty five million. Twenty five million is not bad. So um, this is something that has happened. Okay, now also in the thing is. Uh, a story, uh, similar story of a guy who uh, he's an entrepreneur who had lost eight hundred bitcoins because his colleague reformatted a laptop with the password on it. Okay, so eight hundred bitcoin chala gaya. It was it's worth some twenty five million or something like that. But the story that I just I was like, oh fuck, what is this story, dude? It is um, the story of this Welsh man. Okay, this guy's name is uh, one second. I'll tell you what his name is. His name is some yeah. His his name is James Howells. Okay, now James Howells got um, back in the day he had got seven thousand five hundred Bitcoin. Okay, he keeps the passwords on a hard disk. Okay, now the thing is he's got two hard disks at home, and uh, one summer in twenty thirteen. He's clearing out his his uh, uh, desk, and he finds these two hard disks, and he's like, "I don't use these fucking hard disks. I'm throwing one away." Now, as he's throwing one hard disk away, his part of his brain tells him that. He's mad, bitch, boy. Ha! He's like, yeah, the part of his brain was like, "Dude, you've never thrown a hard disk. Why are you starting now?" But he's like, "I did for a merry condo, my life." Merry condo. <laughs> yeah. So throws it. The next day, the Uh, trash collectors come. They take his trash and they take it to the landfill. Just as this happens, he finds out the true value of Bitcoin. Okay, and he is he's like, oh fuck, one second, I have seven thousand five hundred. Let me plug in my hard disk and retrieve it. Plugs in his hard disk. Galat. It's the wrong, wrong one. one. Oh shit. So usne. And this was in 2013. His collection was worth 7.5 million dollars. आज तो किल. So हाँ अभी तो it's some 240 something again similar. Okay. So what he has done is James Howells. You can imagine his panic. You can imagine like your face turning white, blood draining from your body, just going. माँ जो क्या कर दिया मैंने. So he rushes to the uh, the mayor. Okay, and he says, please can I access the landfill? Turn the whole landfill. So the mayor is like, "No, <laughs> sorry, bro, no." So he goes anywhere to the landfill, and when he goes there, this was his hope. Okay, okay, sir, you have seen a hard disk? Where is it? Yeah, see it. There is an eagle sitting there. There is a vulture sitting there. Saying, "What? What? 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 So his yeah. his his ho- hope was that that when he reaches the landfill, he said that they would have segregated the trash, kept the home appliances in one area. ये कभी गया नहीं है ना landfill. तो जाता है. And I love the understatement because there's a 
guy interviewing him and he says so what did you oh when i went there i realized it would be a very tough task <laughs> clearly he's <laughs> british so like ek saal laga deta i would have committed oh, one year well, for well. 240 well. million so yeah exactly and so basically this landfill was the size of two football fields and um the guys t- told him ki you are happy to help yourself to it but we have to tell you this chances are very slim because any time these electronics and all come there we compress it and bury it into the ground okay oh, so wow. chances are abhi tera jo bhi dabba tha na abhi wo ban gaya hai ek sheet microchip <laughs> <laughs> so so they asked him a classic reporter question how do you feel now that you have lost your wallet how do you feel and he says uh, understandably not very nice um i am I, you know i'm just i just feel very bad so like, did you did you want to get people together and search for a landfill and he says no i don't have the resources to commit such a task <laughs> if i had the money <laughs> i could have वो जाके देख रहा है प्राइस कितना है फिर वो कंप्रेसर में जाके खुद लेट गया बोला भाई मेरे को भी तू चिपका दे सर मेरा बाहर रह के कुछ फायदा नहीं है सर ढाई सौ मिलियन डॉलर वर्थ बिटकॉइन केले के छिलके by the way so the stat on this is there's a very interesting stat which is that current like and this is I'm talking about this article was written in Jan 2021. Okay, so uh, more than a year back, and it said uh, at that time, currently there's about one hundred and forty billion dollars worth of Bitcoin that has been lost or left in wallets that cannot be accessed. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's tons of it. So uh, there's tons of it. That is the can I, thing about can passwords. I, can I just talk about like I, I was watching a podcast where uh, Vitalik Buterin, the founder of yeah. Ethereum. he sort of talks about so he is obviously he's got a lot of eth right he's got a lot of eth so he he's and he's justifiably paranoid that <laughs> you know people will hack me and people will try and access my wallet and stuff and of course he has a public wallet so uh, think but he's like i have one in an air gap my password is uh, my my iron wallet or whatever my offline wallet or whatever is in a is in an air gap computer uh in my parents house or something like that the i would even say that to, <laughs> the password to which is written half of it is written in one place in one country another half is written on a piece of paper in another country in a fireproof safe which something 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 mai bola bro kya scene hai bro ye to ye aisa enter karne jata hai fir flight leta hai fir udhar jata hai fireproof isko kholta hai yeah. aur uske baad agar usko captcha dalna pada jiske usko zyada time lagta hai to password badal dega to fuck me usko romania alag se dalna hai fir password hai fuck me no bro also i just i just i was just googling something about uh, thing who owns the most ether the top 10 owners of grayscale ethereum trust eth oh. 0.10% stake yeah yeah i'm sure he owns the most n- amount of thing Ro- but Rothschild. Roth's child investment. Yes, <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, the return of the Roth's child. Roth's child. Bas- Roth's child. Roth's child. Bit Bitcoin. Me gus gaye. Crypto. Roth's gus gaye. Ki. You don't know. Maybe they started the whole thing. Maybe they started. They were like, "Ye banking system me maja nahi aa raha. Decentralized banking system." So, are so, you trying to say that Satoshi Nakamoto is, in fact? A Rothschild. Yeah, it is probably Maybe. a Rothschild. So he, here's here's the thing. Okay, so or a Rothschild. Uh, <laughs> the the guy, the first guy I was talking about, right, Stefan Thomas. So mm. he gave an interview to the New York Times where he said this. Okay, he was like, I'm I'm put off of cryptocurrencies, and his logic was the whole idea of being your own bank. Let me put it this way: Do you make your own shoes? <laughs> <laughs> The reason we have banks is because so we don't want to deal with <laughs> all those only. <laughs> Bro, that is the cynicism of a man who has lost two hundred million dollars. Okay, if he has to do that, yeah, being a rose bank is the best thing. But how many na? times do you screw up and like <laughs> mess up your electronics? Like he might have a valid thing. Like how? Like of course, like being your own bank will give you valid reasons to keep it. Like keep uh, uh, have the upkeep done properly of your electronics, but. How many times do we just mess up and erase our entire I agree. data? I agree. I agree. I'm very fucking stupid with uh, electronics. I, I, I would be the first person to lose password 
and i would be the first person to not even get the security question talk about <laughs> being <laughs> fuck all talk Rod about being fuck all with sorry. internet talk about being fuck no. all with devices bro i noticed ki pichle 6 mahine se main ek bar glitch nahi hua aaj baba teen bar tera aawaz pehle aa raha hai photo baad mein aa rahi hai bahut ho gatak gaya hai main atka nahi hu 6 mahine se fuck jinx it jinx it bye chalo theek hai on that note on on the, on that note that's the end of this episode of the internet set so we were talking about uh mummy mermaid uh cognitive biases uh mera kya tha weird kidnapping weird kidnapping weird and kidnapping. fast words yeah so if you guys like this episode please leave a comment leave a like share it with your friends families etc and uh, yeah quick announcement i'll going to be on tour uh, from april onwards i will put links in the community section please ticket kharid lo baba kautuk tinno bhi tour pe hai batao no, no, wait, kaun hai? we have to do it the scripted way kautuk where are you <laughs> oh yeah. what a uh, what a nice question baba i am on uh, i am in bangalore on second and third do you hey, have to be what? <laughs> same me too oh, very shit. excited uh, okay guys no ticket link in the description it be in the community we are also going to be doing uh, delhi gurgaon calcutta and hyderabad at some point but we don't want to obviously clash with varun's dates uh, so we are just figuring out our individuals scenes uh, yeah, but and he individual khatam hone ke baad we're also going to test live all the bombay public you must have come for our shows here we're going to do a lot more here to just get this whole live yeah. angle of this uh, working so that we can then get it on tour in other cities in india and outside once again reminder about the google docs please fill in your email address and the cities uh, that you would like to watch us in and hopefully saal ke end mein ek bana lenge apan yeah. international so, yeah, tour march 27th thane and the second and third bangalore kotu ke naya hai varun tera dates kabhi aa raha hai kotu mera first april se chalu ho raha hai mera monday ko tickets niklega tab yeah. bataunga first weekend we won't be delhi uh, 8 9 10 will mostly be bangalore hyderabad so on and so forth so we'll let you guys know yeah. and kotu uh i'm going to be uh, going on tour and i'm traveling and performing with uh, punit panya we're coming to rajasthan so 16th is jodhpur 17th is ajmer 18th is jaipur and 21st is delhi so if you happen to be in any of these places uh, you will find a link in the description do come yes. out for those shows kotu can we are also coming to delhi later just yeah <laughs> and other okay. uh, Uh, Other has classics. Uh, I, will in, uh, <laughs> I will be in college from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day. अगर किसी को आके मेरा attendance देना है ताकि मैं घर पे सो सकूँ. Proxy. 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 Proxy देना है please आ जाओ and मैं बैठ सकता हूँ घर पे फिर. Maybe I can record a podcast. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you again next week. Bye, bye. Good night. Take care. Salamish. सुपर चैट्स नहीं पढ़ने गए गैस हाँ नहीं <laughs> <laughs>